Coho, 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 in the yap. It's a little one. Is it a hatchery? Okay, keep it. Cool, thanks. Short floated. Yep. Thanks. In the current scene. And that little adjustment made all the difference, man. Okay. All right, there it is, folks. Woo woo! Oh shit! Oh shit! There we go, nice coho, Doris, woo woo. There we go, a little one. That's natural coho row, and it's only been five minutes, not even, and we'll try it out in an hour and see if we can put this on a hook. All right, over and out, peace. There goes the fish. There goes the fish. Woo, -woo. good one. Go get me some floats, boys, go get me some floats. What about a hundred at home? <laughs> Fish on. Oh wow. Nice. Oh, that's a great fish. Oh, it came off. Sorry, man. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah, okay. On. We got a live one, folks. Come on, baby. Oh, she is going berserk. It's a cool little run down here. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. You got the mega rock there. You should be ah. fucking slaying them in here. Really? <laughs> Holy, what a cool spot. It's just landing them would be a bitchy because you got to go all the way down. But. All right, there she is, folks. Take a look. Not bad, pretty nice spring. Off she goes. See you later, baby. See you later. Oh yeah, of course. Just fish behind that rock. You know what I used to use? I used to do the same thing with this rock, kind of this idea. Colorado spoon with a float like yours. And I would just put the float back there and I would let it sit behind there for five minutes. And then all of a sudden, whoom, float down. <laughs> So that's all I would do. Just literally put a, a lure and just let it sit out there and eventually some pissed off fish would slam it. I should uh, record some of the misses so it looks kind of like how difficult it is. But it's not just a hit hit.